me ask you, why do you think that Bilal wasn't free? Because he wasn't. He wasn't. Then after Muhammad died, yeah. when he was dying, Bilal was asking. So he was him. owned by Abu Bakr, you mean? Yeah, he was transferred to Abu Bakr. He, Abu so, Bakr gave him to Muhammad. Him. Okay. And after Muhammad died, then he was. I don't know. So if the, Muhammad owned him? Yeah. Muhammad owned him. As a slave? Yeah. Not. He wasn't free, man. No. Oh, so you would say. Muslims would say, oh, he was free, he just loved Yeah, Muhammad. Muslims say he was free, but... But but he was not free. What ma that's why I'm... Because there is a... a that's why I'm asking you, what makes you think... Okay, I'll have to find where you. Where did you get that from? I'll have to find you the hadith where he's talking about being free after you're supposed to be free. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, and what is that hadith? Uh, the, I have to look it up because I, you just came up with this. So you're I not sure how... I'll have to look it up for you. I don't have it in, in front of me right now. You don't need. You, you don't need to look it up. You just you okay. so because you made the judgment on it. So you you must know it very well. I know it, but I don't have the reference for it. But by saying Bilal wasn't free man, you go against all Muslims. You go against Islamic sources. So why was he uh, doing what Muhammad was? It's asking? like you say Islam has six pillars. I don't say when that. Islam has five. It's like that. It's like it's that. Like that. Everybody Why do you keep Islam? yelling at me, man? I feel like you're. Yeah. I'm gonna am start I, yelling I, at am you. I yelling? Am I yelling? Oh, man, he's screaming the, yelling? my ear off. He's screaming my ear off. Stop that. I'm, I, so you see, he's not. He no, doesn't. This think, is okay. He doesn't think I'm yelling. <laughs> it's only you. It's only you, Sam. It's in your head. Oh man. Okay, so. So did Muhammad have any slaves? According to Islam, no. Are you sure? Because as a prophet, he didn't have nothing. No slaves, no nothing. How did no he money. have 12 wives he died. or 11 wives? That's because each wife that, has that, to that, have no, his that, own that, house. Life. If you don't have a, a house, how can, you have, how can you, where did he keep them? On the street? No. Where he was his wife? Room, 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 so rooms, rooms, rooms. Yeah. For yeah. everyone, a room. A room. Look. A how many rooms room. does he have a house? Prophet Muhammad, it, yeah. he, how can he have money when he died? His 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 shield was owned, was had by somebody for rent, for uh, a loan. He 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 owned he, he 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 borrowed money from somebody, and he gave his shield for it. You know, as as a guarantee. Okay, no, he had slaves. It's mentioned in the Quran. It's mentioned in the Hadith. He had female slaves in the house. He didn't Who was own, this? Uh, he didn't own, okay. Honestly, he did didn't he have own. a child with a with a Coptic Christian slave girl? He was given uh, with that woman, okay. that young woman. So he what? Was given. Well, given as so what? Given him. as what? Well, you ask the one who did. Don't ask. As him. what? If I give you a girl, what do you take her as? As a servant. As, as a servant. Okay, as a servant. So as a slave. Well, look, you can't blame Prophet Muhammad for something that was done by all. All. I know okay. you're comparing him to Jesus and say Jesus didn't do that. So Jesus. No, no, better. because I could say Jesus would do that because all the people did it. So Jesus did look, it. Look, Wait a minute. Brother, brother, Does Jesus look, care to do Muhammad, everything what the people look, do? Prophet people Muhammad, do a lot was, of bad things. He was he was born in that time. He has no power over the circumstances of his age. He's he has God. power He's over God. him. He's not God. He's a human being like you and me. He's not God. He's not God, yeah. He's not God. But then he, he's doing what other people, instead of doing, he could have taken the slave, if you give you a woman as a slave, he could have said, okay, thank you, and then free her. But she wanted to stay with the leader. That is wrong. With the leader, show with me, the leader, show me, show me, the show me. Well, show me she wanted to stay. What, you think no, a no, woman don't no, want to be why? with the king? Hold on, hold on. A woman would want to be with the king. However, a slave does not have a choice to be or not to be. Now tell me that she was a free woman and she stayed by her will rather than as a slave. That's what you, you made a claim. You asked me to show you here by Bilal and now you show me where this woman was staying on her own will, not as a slave, but as a free woman and wanted to stay with the prophet and serve him. Show me. Show me. Look, he, he, he believed that he wasn't like the people in that time. He believed those who are called slaves, he didn't see them as slaves. He saw them as, even okay. the Quran say, what? they are your brothers. 
Who? People you you you're supposed to own. They are your your brothers. Wait, wait, wait. Your slaves are your brothers. Yeah, they're correct. Show me the words. Yeah. Uh, go to Surah. Go, go to Surah. Go, go, go. I don't have internet. Go to Surah. What? 33. Verse? Verse maybe 9 or 8. <laughs> Just go to the Surah. Go to Surah, surah 38. Uh, no, sorry, 33, Surah 33. 33? Just go to the Surah, we'll go to the verse, you know. This one? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. They sacrifice children in the fire of falling. Yes. Is that what you want? Look. Okay, let's read it. Allah is talking about people you own. Let your adopt. Can I read it? Let your adopted children keep their family names. Can you adopt children in Islam? Before Islam, before. before Islam. This verse I'm reading, this is verse number what? Four? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But Surah, adopted, four, adopted, Surah 33, not the, not the verse Arabic. four. The word adopted is not in the Arabic. It says, call them. But he's telling call you, them is, it, is it in brackets? By their fathers in more just uh, near okay Allah so is this Quran translation or is this my translation I think the word adopted children is not there because okay th anyways the word for them is them 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 who Call them them who it's Zayd, Zayd ibn Harith. okay then Zayd. then tell me he's not a slave show me in the Arabic Pro Prophet. he was given as a slave to Muhammad and what did he take him as he adopted him as what son you know you you, you you remember just now I told you that Prophet Muhammad he used to see them as family. That's yeah, but Allah said you cannot adopt anymore. Oh, Allah changed that. Name. Allah changed yeah. his mind. Why does Allah change no, his no. mind? Allah said keep him, keep him, stay, let him be your brother, but don't call him Zayd ibn Muhammad. Call him to his father. Ah, oh, okay. Don't give him your name. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, this is more just uh, in the sight of Allah. But if you do not know their fathers, then uh, they are simply your fellow believers and close associates. There is no blame on you for what you do by mistake. What does that mean? That but means only for what you do intentionally. And Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. This verse is basically saying to every Muslim, beginning with Prophet Muhammad, because he had an adopted son. Yeah. So he's saying, don't call him Zayd Muhammad anymore. Yeah. Call him to his father and treat him like a brother, but yeah. not like, uh, not, no, no more adopted son. Yeah, okay, but the, the thing is, if, you're, if, if I take a child, his father is dead, why wouldn't I give him my name if I gonna, I'm gonna raise him up? Because if you're a child and you raise somebody raise you up, he's your father, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna learn everything from him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, but then when you grow up, you find out he's not your father because you don't have his name. Is that no, justice? No, Islam say, Islam say, ah. if you, you can, you can take a, a, an orphan yeah. and uh, raise him, yeah. but don't g treat him as a son, but don't call him son and oh. don't give him your name and no. don't let him don't let him see your daughters. I'm telling Where was that? It's I'm not in you, there. Look, I'm telling you because in Islam, yeah. uh, no one, you can't, if you're a stranger yeah. and you enter a home, but you, if you adopt you, somebody, you don't see the females. I know, I know. But so, the thing is, this child is from this childhood, is living in the house of his father. In Islam, his father. in Islam, if he's not your son, he's not your son. You, uh, okay. But you cannot adopt. So why? You know did, why? You know why? why? Because why? The, there are rules in Islam, and to keep the rules is yeah. the most important thing. Oh, to keep the rules. To keep the rules. Yeah. Okay. Don't doesn't break matter. the rules for a boy or as a girl or. A... Or, so why? Okay. So the rules have a reason, right? God is rules. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. they have a reason. Yeah. So in, what's the reason the for this rule? One of the rules in Islam rule? that a woman should not, when her when she is with her immediate family, she doesn't have to cover herself. At home, for example, with her brother, uncle, 
nephew. She she doesn't she wait, 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 no wait, wait, she wait, wait, no hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When, a, when a stranger comes in, she covers up. Said, listen, were the wives of Muhammad were they all covered all the time? There is God gave gave instructions. When later, after later, after later. his friend told him that he saw his wife uh, so, taking so you a, know, a good. So you know. I know the story. Okay. But you guys want to cover everything up and tell us something right? No. You're trying to say that in Islam you cannot look at a uh, woman had to be covered. Up. In Islam it was not there. When the, his friend come and said, "Hey, I saw your wife <laughs> in the toilet, whatever." What, that what was you say, horrible. What you say in Islam it was not there because, because of your story. God, God was legislating gradually, one bit by bit, issue by issue. You know the story of the khamr, of the, the wine, the wine, yeah. the alcohol. Yeah, because before they were drinking the and coming to the gradually, namaz. Gradually, gradually, yeah. Yeah, gradually. So but Allah said, no, don't come to make the namaz with yes, the drunk. Yes, okay. It started like that. It started yeah, like that. Yeah. So was Muhammad getting drunk too before he... No, he never drank. He never drank. Listen, let me ask you this. Why do you keep this? Keep a lot about Hubel? What's the story of Hubel with you? Come on, man. Hubel is your God. You know that. You know. So this. you think I, I worship Hubel? You don't know that you worship Hubel, oh, but the so, thing is... So I'm an idiot. You know me better than me. I'm an idiot, huh? Can I answer it? Your prophet, he was worshipping Hubel. Okay. Because his his tribe, Quraysh, was worshipping Hubel. Okay. okay. Alright, that's his... his. It's, it's from your source. So, you know who okay, uh, Kilby Muhammad, is? Did he know that he was... Uh, he, he he believed he worshipped God, you know. We're going to be in line say hi to my people. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I'm a Canadian team. How are you? Let's go to Roma. No, what? Okay. Okay, why, why, why? Look, so, Prophet Muhammad, do you think he, he didn't, he, he believed, he believed he, wor he was worshipping the Creator, right? He believed. He believed he was worshiping the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was, him, a, he, was, he was a Sabian. If you ask him, who do you worship? He, he worshipped so, the stars and the moon. But, he was a Sabian. But are you saying he, he worshipped actually Hubal without knowing? No, no, no. You know what he did? You know his father's name, Abdullah. Yes. Did his father go to heaven or to hell? hell. We don't know. We don't hell. know. Hell. He is father. Look, he's a Muslim. Now, come here, my friend. Come here, come here. Can you please? What's the question? Uh, no, no, I'm asking. His father's name is Abdullah, right? No. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, my friend here is I'm a going, Muslim. I'm going, I'm no, no, you stay here. Uh, no, 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 no. no we have to I'm just no, saying. Leave it, leave it. I'll talk later. Yeah. Let me yeah, talk yeah, to him. Yeah. Okay, so my friend here, he's saying Abdullah was going to hell. You said he's going to heaven. Which one is it? One Muslim is telling me. Muslims okay, disagree. Disagree. I'm just asking. Okay, he. I don't know. He doesn't know. I said I. I think yes. From what I know. So you don't know. Muslim disagree. Disagree no. about this. So you don't know disagree. because he knows and I know that he. Uh, Muhammad said he went to hell. We, Why do you not know that? Are you just lying? Because there is hadith that say. He might not know. He might not know. He might not know. There is hadith that say they are, and there is hadith that say they are not. So you don't know the hadith that say that he. He didn't know. From what I know, yes. Forget. Okay. Forget. Let's go to our hadith. When a man came to the Prophet and he said, uh, from what I know, he said about his father is, is in hell. So he said, don't worry, your father and my father are in hell. From what I know. Okay, but okay carry that, on, yeah, carry that's on. true. That's true. I know that too. Idea. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that. I didn't need it. Point? The point is this. What does the let's, word let's, let's Abdullah? Think, because you I'm asked going, me. Look, okay, listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. Because when you said about Hubal, I said, no, no, Hubal is Allah. You said, no, 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 Hubal is, uh, you know, not Allah. So I asked you, what was Muhammad's father's name? Abdullah. What does that mean? Slave of Allah. Slave of Allah. Slave of Allah. Okay, Allah. if he was slave of Allah. No, actually, actually, meant he was, his name war, is worship of Allah. Of Allah. Slave of Allah. Bro, bro, let me speak to him. Okay, doing a slave video. of Allah or worship of Allah. Listen, listen. It's not slave, it's worship of Allah. A worship of Allah. If he was a worshiper of Allah, why would he go to hell? Because he was, because they were mushriks, they were. They were mushriks. Okay, Akhi, Akhi, listen. Listen, listen, listen. No, you wanna uh, you okay. either talk yeah, to yeah, me yeah. or I go. Right. No, no, it's okay. No, I talk if to you. You wanna talk it's to okay. him? I'll go. No, no, I'll it's let okay. You talk to him. It's all right. It's okay. So you tell me, if he was the worshiper of Allah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, then why would he go to hell? 
Slave of Allah. Abdullah is slave of Allah. Why do you Christians interested in these things? Who's gonna go? These things belong to Allah. To I, because uh, listen to me, say, you say, talk say, about say, say hell? listen. Who's gonna go to hell? Listen Who's now. Who's gonna go to heaven? Who's go, who, what is Allah? Is he spirit? Why are, you talk about this? Are things? you gonna why? listen now? Because you brought this up. Because I said you believe. Oh, why you keep bringing us up? Hubal, Hubal. I said Hubal is your god. It was the god of Quraysh. No, no, no. I said okay. What was the name of uh, God, Muhammad's father? Abdullah. I said if his name was Abdullah, how can he go to hell? Because he's the worshipper of Allah. You saying that Allah worshipper can go to hell? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's name. It's just a name. It's just a name. No, no, no. Name is never just a name. It's a name of the Arabs. No, no, no. If you, if, if I call you the son of Satan, is that just a name? It's just a name. It's, it's just no, no, no. Name, yes. Let's change your name to son of Satan. Okay, listen, right? listen, listen one second. Slave of Satan. Did You're Arabs, okay with that. Did the Arabs always worship Allah? Listen, my friend, names have meanings. Did the Arabs Does, do you have Allah? a name? Do you have a name? Yes. Does it have meaning? Yes. Thank you. Okay, do you have a name? I believe what Does it have meaning? Says. Okay, so names have meaning. So if you, you saying, if I call you the slave of Satan, would are, you like it? Are you saying everyone, Nobody would like are you, it. Are you saying, if I say I am the slave down, of God, calm down, calm down, that so, has a meaning. So, so you're saying everyone who's called Christians will go to heaven? I'm, look, this is not my theology. This is your theology. Okay, is everyone? I am trying to prove to you your bro, your prophet was worshiping Hubal. That was his god of Quraysh. Okay. That not Quraysh. Mana, god. Not mana. Huh? Hubal, not mana. Who's Mena? It's a daughter, God, daughter. Uzza, those are the three daughters of Allah. Not Mena, not Mena. No, 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 those are the daughters. He used to sacrifice to Uzza. So, Muhammad. Which one, which one he worshipped? Yeah. There's, there's a hadith, there's one, a hadith. One go, time go you read say Hubal, now you say Mena. No, I didn't say Mena. I said the Lord of Kaaba was Hubal. The Lord of, according to Kilby, who was a Muslim writer in the seventh century. What's your point? Because you have the crescent moon on your mosque, he keeps he's bringing that up because okay, I talk a lot about. It's an it. innovation. This is not part. It's an innovation. It's an innovation. Yeah. Who's innovation? Ottoman. Is it is it the can, Christians can you, or the no, Muslims? The Brother, can you Ottomans. Let me speak to him? Can you can okay. you let me speak to him? Because we're talking. You know, we're making a video. Ignore him. Ignore him. He's bringing weak arguments. No, no, ignore him. We're doing a video. Do after this, you want to come after him? After me, you could come. You can come after him. No, no, after him you come. With a strong argument. I want strong arguments. Don't bring people in. You could speak to him. Okay, he was talking, so you know. No, no, no. Because you said that his he will go to heaven. You lied. That's why I talked to him. He said no, he will go to hell. According to your tradition, Abdullah. Muhammad said his father and mother go to hell. Okay, that's so it. What's your point? The point is, if his father's name is Abdullah, yeah, yeah. which is the, the slave of Allah, yeah, yeah, yeah. how can he end up going to hell? That's the Just thing. Just like a Christian, who someone who's called Christian will end up in hell. No, no, no. Listen, that's not. That's not. What do you mean? No, no Christian will not go to hell. Who told you that? Someone called. Are you saying everyone who's called Christian will go to heaven? Everyone who's called Christian, I said who is a Christian. No, 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 no. Ah, I said who is a no, Christian. You, but you're talking about names. I'm talking you about names. His name is Abdullah. Okay. okay. His he, name is Abdullah because... So, should go to heaven, right? Okay. If it's Abdullah, should go to heaven. So if he's Christian also, should go to heaven, right? Can I ask you something? How can he go to hell? What tribe was uh, Abdullah from? So you don't want to talk about I'm this? I'm talking about this. What tribe was Abdullah from? What does it matter? Quraysh. Who was the god of Quraysh? Who mana, was the lord mana, of... Mana. No, no. It's from your source. The lord of Kaaba, yeah. who the Quraysh You're were in charge Hubal of, now. was Hubal. Okay, Hubal. So that way he said Hubal was the lord. So Hubal, was, Hubal was Allah. What about the moon? What about the moon? Hubal is the moon god. The moon. Okay. Yeah. Do you know there is a verse in the Quran that, that said, don't worship the moon? Oh, yes, I know that's old story. It doesn't matter what it says. What matters is when you have the crescent moon. If you believe, Satan doesn't care if you know this verse or if you don't know. As long as you're worshiping his symbol, okay, that's his so symbol. So are you saying Satan want me, would want me to worship the moon? Because uh, that's his symbol. He would, he would put in the Quran a verse against the moon. It, uh, the, the Quran has uh, verses against from Satan. From Satan. No, no, no. The Quran has verses that contradict all the time. It doesn't matter. But the thing is, even if it says that. Okay, let's say you, that's what the Quran says, and it does say that, right? But why do you put the moon on top of the mosque? Then let me ask you this. Okay, I, okay, I have you a, don't have answer. I have a question. Okay, I that's the question. problem. You guys have no answer. You have a moon on top of your mosque. Okay. You brought that up. I didn't. Okay. Right. But I was just talking about Muhammad had slaves. Okay. He had slaves all over the place. Okay. You wanted to prove no, Muhammad didn't have slaves. Yeah. Of course he had yeah, slaves. He had female slaves. Well. He yeah. had sex with this uh, Coptic slave, had a child with a Coptic slave girl. 
Uh, what was her name? The Coptic who, who slave. Who cares what you say, man? You believe you're going to heaven. Who cares? I'm just telling you, you're yeah, you're supposed to be caring about what I'm saying because you're. I, I well, you are the your I, religion comes up I, and I says, give a damn oh, about what Jesus didn't die on the cross. What did you have care, to, What did Muhammad have to do with Jesus? The, what? The least people I care about what they say are the Christians. Listen. Your your faith does not exist without Christianity. Your Quran is incomplete without the Bible. All the stories are taken from the Bible, but incomplete if you don't know the Quran, the Bible. Your Quran says read the Bible. You don't read it. You don't believe it. That's your fault. I'm going to ask you a question on behalf of some other Christians who, but I couldn't get hold of them. One of them I couldn't get hold of. Another one is too rude for me to speak to. So I'll ask you on their behalf. Okay, okay? but I'm going to ask you one thing. Did Muhammad's father go to heaven or hell? That's ask God. Ask God. Okay. That, no, according to Islam, according to your tradition. I told you, man, there is disagreement right, fine. about okay, this. Okay, fine, fine. All I'm saying is that this is the kind of person that I'm talking to right now who doesn't, who knows that what it says, but he doesn't deny it on the camera. But that's okay. Go ahead. We'll, we'll go ahead with your question. You know, there are a lot of Christians here repeat all the time that there is a hadith that say women are deficient. Or in mind, yeah. In mind, uh, uh, there half a okay. testimony uh, in okay. court, yeah. So, uh, is that intellectual capability? I would say, yeah. Well, capability. you tell me. I mean, you, okay. I don't speak Arabic. You, okay. you do. Okay. So, you th what, do you you think, what do you think about that hadith? Is it anti-woman or is it wrong? Uh, do you think it's pro-women to say women have half a brain? Okay. Do you think uh, this is a uh, look? Look. This is a list. List of, of the. 50 people. Yeah, 50 people. The greatest innovators in history. It says guitar, blood group, Microsoft, yeah. telephone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Albert Einstein, Martin. You, you have, you have Thomas uh, Edison. Okay. Alexander Johannes, Graham Bell. Uh, Graham Bell. The okay. greatest innovators. Okay, fine. Scientists. 50, 50 names. Okay, 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 Only okay. two are women. What do you think about this? What does that prove? 50 yeah. innovators. With, what are they Christians? With, no, 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 no. What are they Christians? You, are you an idiot? What's Christianity got to do with it? What because, religion got to do with it? Okay, because you're talking about religion. Yeah, I'm talking about intellectual capability. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay, fine. And, 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 and the ability of mind, uh -huh. of idea, of creativity. Uh -huh. okay. okay, okay. So, you say women are, you say Islam say women are deficient in mind. Well, this is telling you. This is telling you they're not equal. They're not equal. They're not, yeah, this is telling. Are you? Are you? Is I don't know. I understand. I understand. So, do you think? How come? How come? There is only two women in among fifty men. Okay, so there are women right now who are do doctors, lawyers, judges. Who are? Are you saying those are this there? Are, brother, no. this is innovators. Okay, they're my friend, this is people. history. They're not normal people. This. When were these people? Yeah, they lived in, in last two, three hundred years. Okay, so this is history. So now we have evolved to a point where they we are, say... These are the most intelli intelligent. In your, okay, fine. How so, come... Okay. How come mostly men? How come they're mostly men? What does this tell you? This tells us that men have been in charge in history and now in they're charge. in charge of society. In the West as well as in the East. Come on, man. It's not like that. It's not like I'm just telling you the truth. How come? They're not in charge of anything. They're just thinking, thinking, thinking until they no, got no, something. No, 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 no. They got something new. Listen, men, you would not allow women to do anything in the past. Oh, Even really? If, yeah, really. Oh, yeah, really, really. Now, which faith allowed women... Forget about Prophet Muhammad. This paper, this paper is telling you Men or women are not equal when it comes to certain things. No, this paper is telling you that in the past, men were in charge and they would not give women equal opportunity. Exactly. That's what this paper That's is telling you. Your interpretation of everything oh, is so wrong. You're saying and if, you're telling me so that. So are you saying if a woman could bring the, the, the cure for... Uh, for, let's say cancer there are today. women, Madame Curie. There, there Do you know who Madame Curie is? Yes, yeah, she's okay. Here. She's there. She's here. Yeah, okay, yeah. there are women in the past that have done great things. So okay, she wasn't prevented then. Prevented what? From giving her invention. She was. She she she's in, she is the one that gave penicillin. I believe is uh, so uh, Madame saying, Curie. Let's say one of those things. This yeah. guy, this guy is saying. What, what was the invention of Madame Curie? Oh, ra radioactive. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. No, there was something else that she did. Okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. So women in the past have been, when they were given opportunity, have risen to the occasion, right? Oh, but this is not about what opportunity you're talking about, you idiot. What are you talking about? What opportunity you're talking about? You, what are you talking about? 
are you are you allowed to think? Are you saying to me now you're allowed to think or not? Come on, man. What, what are you? What These is the people they made their inventions inside their homes in their bedrooms. Not all of them. What are you well, talking about? Them, no, no. Some of them were backed by very rich men like Graham Bell. I mean, there's uh, Edison was uh, had uh, people ah, behind them. So it. are you saying if a woman today can 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 come up come up come up with the cure for a cancer, they say to her, no, 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 you're a woman. We don't want it from you. Okay, so the, what you're saying is that this paper proves that See women you are later, inferior. Man, you're an idiot. No, you're running away. You're saying that this paper proves that women are inferior. The Quran is right by saying that women are half a brain. Can you as a woman, as a Muslim woman, agree with him and a scientist? You say you're a scientist. So come over here and tell me about women in Islam and science. Okay, you can stand there. Don't be in the camera. I can't hear you. If you can come a little bit. I'm not putting you on camera. This is facing me. You can stand here. I can't hear you. I have been Muslim since I started studying. Don't so put Islam it on her. gave me sufficient resources and backing to be a PhD in science. You? Yes. Well, well done. Very good. I am not anti. Uh, like, you know, I am a practicing Muslim. Alhamdulillah. And I'm here. I'm okay. Uh, my I'm practicing Muslim. Can you please tell my friend here, Saeed? He's telling me that Quran is correct. Look at history proves that men are smarter than women. He says that he's, he's, got, he's got his papers listing all the great uh, inventors and there's only two women listed. He said, look at this proves women are inferior in mind. That's what the Quran says. Why don't you follow the Quran? That's what his argument is. He's telling us. He's telling us this. Saeed, are in the Quran, when it says women are inferior in mind, is that correct or not? This, is, this paper is telling you. Listen, listen what he said. Ma'am, ma'am, listen. Ma'am, listen what he said. Science is, science is telling you, ma'am. Ma'am. This list is telling you. This paper is telling you that. Yeah. Forget Islam. Forget Islam. This but but th that's what Islam agrees with this, right? That women are inferior in mind, right? Nobody's anti woman. Don't think I'm not saying anti woman. I'm just saying you're proving to me. Just saying a fact. Yeah, yeah. Most of the innovators, most of the are men and men, which proves Quran right. Doesn't prove anything. Well, what's the point of proof? What's your point of proving this then? Just saying to you that you know the. I don't know. Even I don't know why. Okay, so now he's saying he doesn't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. No, because he was making that point earlier that it is true what is in the Quran. The majority, the majority. Aisha is the biggest, the biggest teacher in Islam. Islam. The biggest the teacher in Islam. She's a female. What is she? She's the biggest narrator. Narrator? Yeah. What does she narrate? She, she narrated a hadith. Yeah, how many hadiths did she narrate? Uh, is, there, is there one of the hadiths where she said she was six years old? How many hadiths did she narrate? When she was married? How many hadiths did she narrate? You tell me. So you, you didn't even know that? Why would I know that? Oh, oh, I'm not a Muslim, bro. Why would I? Listen, he's saying Aisha is the best of the narrators. I said, did she narrate that she was six years old when she was married and six, nine years old? They said, no, no, that's the wrong hadith. That's the wrong hadith. She narrated it. But they don't. Why, do you not believe Aisha? No, why don't you believe she was six years old when she said that she was six years old? She narrated Mary was 12. What? She was nine when she married. No, she was married when she was six. Don't you know that? <laughs> you don't know that. What about Mary? What about Mary? Back then. Do you know how marriages work back then? I'm not talking about back then. I'm asking you, how did do you not believe then? it? Because Muslims say, no, that's not I correct. Believe, I believe I believe Mary was 12 when she no, came No, no, I'm talking about Aisha. She was, Mary how old was, was Aisha? I According to Isaac, Aisha. Isaac married a three-year-old girl. Aisha, how old was what she? What about Isaac? Isaac. What about what Aisha? About We're Isaac? talking about Aisha. We'll, we'll, come, we'll come at let's that. Let's talk about Isaac. Okay, so what after you Isaac? answer you my shame? question, you I'll ashamed? answer yours. Are you ashamed? Are you not going to answer? Are you, are you not going to answer? Your Bible is full of okay. pedophilia. Oh, now you tell that Your Bible this is full lady of is Muslim. She's doing a PhD. She has a science degree. Tell her she has half a brain. Why don't you tell her that? Tell this list. Show her this list. Speak, speak to the paper. Can, show me. Paper. I'll tell her. I'll show her this the paper. This is telling you, man. I'll show her the paper, man. No, no. I, I, she's your Muslim uh, uh, sister. Nobody's anti woman, Sam. Nobody's anti woman. Your religion is anti woman. Half a, half a brain, half a witness in the courts, half the, 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 the inheritance. Better, better dies, what is the difference? Better no. dies, better dies, lies under the feet of mothers. Can a mother get half the inheritance? 
As her brother? Well, you want to talk about that? Sir? Oh, can she get witness in the court? Have a, have a witness? Women inheritance is more than men. Okay, how about in court? In court, can she can she be a witness in court? Is the majority of inhabitants of hell women? Are the majority of inhabitants of hell women according to Islam? For a different reason. According to Islam, according to Muhammad, most of the women are in hell. So what's your Why? Point? What's your point? Because uh, the Islam, he's saying, no, no, we are not anti-women. No, no, no. I said Islam what's is anti-women. What's your point? Islam is anti-women. It says they have half a brain. Oh, Their testimony is half of that of a man. You are alive. They are going to hell. That's anti-women. What else do you want? No. On top of that, he says, oh, they're half a brain. Look at this paper. It proves men are the most of the inventors in the world past. Women are only two of them listed on this 50 page, 50 people. So, my friend here, your friend is giving that. Your, your, your Quran is anti-women. It says, if a woman or a donkey or a dog passes you in front, your your namaz is done. You have to redo it. Okay? So, women and dogs and donkeys are the same. So, what, so your what Quran denigrates more men. No, even, right. even man yeah. cannot pass. No, no, no. But I didn't it say man. Yeah. Did it say it says, man? It says. Where? It says. Show me. In a different hadith. Show it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Show it to me. Yeah. Show, yeah. Show, yeah. show it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. So, did it say man, donkey, or a dog? Yeah. Did it? It says. In a different hadith, it says men. It says dog? Dog, donkey, and men. If any of those pass in front of you, does it say that? No. No. Why not? No, no, no. Okay, fine. Okay, let's say you're. What's your point? The point is you're denigrating women. It's anti-Islamic to to compare a woman to a dog or a donkey is anti-women. Now Sayyid is running away. It's not anti-women. It's run away. It's not anti-women. Okay. If you say a man passes you, it's okay. But if a woman or a donkey or a dog. Can I say that about your mom? If um, if your if your mom or your donkey or your horse or your or your dog passes over, but not your father, yeah. so that means I'm denigrating your mother because I'm comparing her to your dog and to your no. donkey. That's yes, what I told you. Listen, that is what your Quran is doing. For a different reason. Listen, listen. What reason? Okay, give me the reason. Do you know? So, do you know why so, the reason, hadith say women? No, no, one second, one second. Because reason, men do, men don't look at men; they look at women. No, 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 no. Inside one, the prayer. One second. Okay.